So sometimes when the markets seem like they're in trouble on, a, on an international level, not just in the FX market, you know, equities, um, et cetera, you can see that the US dollar becomes more valuable. And that's because it can be often treated as a safe haven currency. So when equities are collapsing, people take their money out of equities and they want to put it somewhere else, so they place it in, in the US dollar. So yeah, you can see that, uh, that that's a safe haven. Um, you also see gold being used as a safe haven. As so correlation is an interesting one because uh, sometimes you see it and, and sometimes you don't. So um, correlation is when uh, one currency pair is behaving um, in, and its movements are um, correlated to another currency pair. And when you see this, it means that you can have a trade in both of them to, to your benefit. Um, and you can trade this correlation. For example, you could look at um, the Australian to US dollar currency pair, and you could look at trading gold and gold to US dollar pair. Now, um, often these two can become positively correlated because Australia produces a lot of gold. So if you see that gold price is going up, you may see that the Australian dollar price is going up as well. So that's correlation there. So obviously you can use um, what's happening in one pair to, to trade another pair. If, if gold is going up, then maybe Australian dollar is going up as well. So if you don't want to trade gold, you can go and trade Australian dollar as well. But y these correlations are sometimes in place, but if something changes in the market and the environment changes, the correlation may go. So the trick there is to spot a correlation and then try to use it, use it to your advantage.